another important iPad app that I like very much is the Dropbox. The Dropbox helped me in sharing most of my documents from my desktop or my laptop on my iPad. So here I'm going to show you how I can do that. Once you have installed it on your computer and on your iPad, you can add files onto Dropbox from your computer and open them in your iPad. Uh, one of the important aspects is it's not only the Word documents and the Excel spreadsheets that you can use, you can also play some of the movies that otherwise would not natively play on an iPad. For instance, Windows Media File usually does not play on the iPad, but if you actually have them open through the Dropbox, it does play window, Windows Media Movies. Let's see how we can do that. I open the Dropbox. I'm going to locate some video. Let's see where I have some videos. So here we have a document or a movie which is a Windows Media File. The second one which says Lab Quest Calibration using a pH meter. So that is a Windows Media File and it's not supposed to play on an iPad. So let's see what happens if we open it in Dropbox. I have the icon for pressing the play button so I'm going to select play. There you go. A Windows Media file is being played on an iPad. And that's about it. So the interesting aspect is the iPad can let you play Windows Media file even though it's not natively. You can play them using Dropbox. This is another useful application that will come in your day-to-day -day life. You can actually save this file on the iPad by favoriting it. So if you look on the top right hand corner, there is a star. If you select it, actually I deselected it right now. If you select it, it will be saved onto the device. So that's about it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you like these videos. Thank you and have a great day.